513.26 Set Kiev Odessa's National Art Museum is deeply outraged by the attack on Ukraine's deputy foreign minister. A mine jepper the Heritage Agency said it had called on UNESCO to condemn the strike. The art museum is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Odessa Region Governor Ole Kuyper said most of the collection had already been removed during the war. The canvases and paintings in the current exhibition were not damaged, he said on social media. A woman who lives in a nearby building said she and her family were away during the strike. But their home was damaged. Of the five windows, I have none left, the woman, who gave her name Omalia Svetlana, told AFP. People stand next to a crater at the art museum after overnight shelling in Odessa on November 6. Igor Kachenko EPAA damaged exhibition hall after a late-night strike in Odessa. Odessa National Museum of Fine Arts AFP updated at 13.51 set 8 meters ago 18.20 set the European Commission has proposed extending easier state aid rules until March next year to allow EU countries to compensate companies for higher energy prices resulting from Russia's invasion of Ukraine and geopolitical tensions in the Middle East The EU executive loosened state aid rules March last year after thousands of companies were affected by the war in Ukraine, saying the easier regime would end December this year. The Commission said extending easier rules for a further three months would enable EU countries continue to provide limited aid and help offset high energy prices until 31 March 2024. This will allow member states, where necessary, expand support programs and ensure that companies still affected by the crisis are not cut off from necessary support during coming winter heating period. The extended rules will not apply to liquidity support and measures to support electricity demand reduction, such as government guarantees and subsidized loans. EU countries can provide feedback to proposal, after which the Commission aims to adopt changes in coming weeks. 19 meters ago 18.09 set some of the latest photos from Ukraine. Oleg Petrasuk EPAA football match between Shakhtar Donetsk and Dynamo Kiev at the Valery. Lobanovsky Dynamo Stadium in Kiev. Ukraine on November 3. Anastasiavlasova Anastasia Vlasova The Guardian updated at 18.17 set 30 meters ago 17.58 set Ukraine. Expects positive EU assessment of its progress towards eventual EU membership in a report this week. Senior government minister has said claiming Kiev has delivered all the necessary reforms Deputy Prime Minister Olha Stefanishina was speaking in an interview with before the Executive EU Commission published its report on Wednesday. Kiev hopes that EU leaders will propose that they decide to open formal accession talks with Ukraine in December. Ukraine meets two of seven conditions set by the EU for starting membership talks. The Commission said in June, I think for evaluation purposes when it comes to the seven steps, everything agreed upon has been